Well, do you like Windows Spotlight, but has it been stuck on the same screen for who knows how long? That was a problem that I had. And I went into the Settings app, changed it back and forth, tried different things here, changed it to a photo, you know, the usual stuff, but nothing helped. So, what to do? Now, the first thing I did before I did any file manipulations, I went back into Settings and I turned off Spotlight, so it wasn't actively using that index and the files that are located there. So the first thing you need to do is open up the run command and just click down here and type in the word run and hit enter. And this is where you're going to be able to paste in your commands. So I'm going to put two commands in the uh, description of this video. One brings up a list of directory where all your stuff is located, all the files are located at. And the next command brings up the index that points to those files. So if we look here, there's that file there. Now, you might get a prompt saying that you need to have administrator access for these. So you have to have that set up or grant it when these uh, windows start to open. Now, because I like to explain everything in excruciating detail, we're going to explain these files. One's an index files, and it points to these files here. Let's drag one from here and copy it to your desktop. Okay. Now, it still doesn't look like much of anything, and that's because it uses a different file extension than the real file is you know, normally. So we're going to change this to a JPEG. Uh, it's the same file, it's just they're going to be renamed so you can use it as a JPEG. And look, you see the image? Click on it now and you'll see that it's just an image file like any other image file. It's just been renamed for the system to use. Now don't misunderstand, you can't just plop your own file in there and rename it to something and have the index find it. It's named by the system. Okay, now that we know what's going on, let's take a look at how you delete this stuff. Again, the two commands are going to be in the description of this video. And the first command we're going to use is to access the index file. Now, the index files is used by the system to point to those all those picture files we looked at earlier. Now, me, because I'm overly cautious, I'm going to rename both of these uh, to something else to save them in case I have to revert back. But for the most part, you can just delete those uh, and Windows will recreate them when we enable Spotlight again. So now that those files are gone and the system can't find them anymore, uh, we're going to get rid of the assets, the actual image file. So I'm going to run that command again and look here. And this is uh, how I had it before. I had what, what, two dozen files here. So I'm going to mass delete them all, just highlight them all and just delete them because I don't really care about them. Uh, I just want them gone so the system can rebuild. So now that you've deleted the index file and all these files here and you're completely empty, uh, now you just simply have to go turn it back on. So then it's just a matter of going back to your personalization setting and uh, finding it and going to your screen. And it still should say picture. And then change it back to spotlight and you should be good to go. Now you need to note that all of a sudden you're not going to boom get this new background picture. You're going to have to wait a while for it to rebuild the index. Okay. But eventually you'll see a new background. You may even have to reboot. But it should start working correctly after this. So enjoy your new Windows backgrounds. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.